Good morning, folks. Take one last look at the plasma filament we saw yesterday beginning to turn over the limb to the far side of the sun. By tomorrow, it will be gone. We've got new looks from the latest satellite, a paper on solar flare patterns. The first 100 days of constant real-world earthquake forecasting came to a close yesterday, and we take a peek at a world of weather. But we begin over at spaceweathernews.com, and we're checking out the last 24 hours on our star. Very calm. At the end, you'll see a small surface surge northward from the sunspots, but it's nothing significant. Solar flares remain absent, as the sunspots facing Earth have continued to spread and begun to decay. There's no more magnetic mixing in these groups, and the Earth-facing quiet appears to be dominating this battle. You may remember a couple days ago we said the departing coronal hole to the right might clip us with its stream, but it would be minor. Well, this morning, the tiniest of coronal hole stream signatures shows up in the telemetry, there's a density bump, and then slightly faster particles. No geomagnetic disruptions as of yet. You can still see the edge of the departing hole over on the right. Next one, center disk today. IMF connections intensify, and it begins sending its solar wind at Earth. Folks, it's been a couple wild days of weather. The weekend flash floods in California were nothing to test. This driver did get out before this happened to his vehicle. New Zealand took an incredible storm that gave them all seasons in two days. Another one is coming today, unfortunately. As another storm dropped tornadoes across the south over the weekend, there was also major hail events, big enough and impactful to the point of presenting a significant risk. But now that system is making its way up towards New England. Near hurricane force winds can be expected at multiple cities along the east coast, and further inland where the low is curling, the flooding could be horrendous. GO-16 is sending back images of Earth, and here's the first one. has a much faster frame rate than its predecessors and a whole lot more toys. Two visible cameras, four near-infrared, and ten infrared. Folks, the emails coming in asking for information stemming from yesterday's magnetic reversal comments has been a bit overwhelming. Be sure to use your free resources like magneticreversal.org, which is dedicated to the details of Earth's magnetism, and also earthchanges.org, your home for tracking the effects of that magnetic reversal on our planet. The free website that's been most popular lately is QuakeWatch.net, home of the earthquake forecasting model which just celebrated its 100th day in operation. Currently, the stat sheet on the right is wrong over at the top, actually, because we recently broke the 80% mark, up to 83.3. Bet I can teach you to do this as well. But wait, where are you going? We're not done yet. A terrific new paper is out detailing the pre-solar flare magnetic activities and build-up patterns that lead to solar eruptions. Website members know we just discussed this topic on Saturday's Fly on the Wall podcast, and folks, the Deeper Look episode from 2015 discussing this topic is a free page. It's linked below, January 30th, 2015. Learn about how scientists will one day begin predicting solar flares with incredible accuracy. And last but not least, folks, Billy's lab is up and running with the most abundant and conductive crystal in the mantle. They will shudder as they build up charge, but it's the discharge that makes the difference. Even after you think it's done, the olivine just still has juice waiting to fire off. The beginning of something. Anyway, be sure to check out those free resources. That's why they are there. Website members, we're entering the next phase of experiments and related Deeper Look episodes coming up in the next few weeks. And folks, it's functionally just about the end of the window to reserve your spot at Observing the Frontier. Even with some cancellations, we are in the single digits for tickets left, and I imagine the hotel venue is filling up fast as well. We've got pressure and radar forecasts, null school global runs, and shots of our star to close. USA, Europe, and Down Under all have notable weather warnings coming up. It's 4.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.